Hey, yo, Mina, I'm back. <laughs> um, I've got this cute, cute, adorable mushroom hat. This little uh, mushroom witch hat. Look, it's got a little mushroom hanging from the back of it, even. They sell these at Hot Topic right now, and I got it from my friend Ashlini, who I'm going to see this Saturday. So I'm really excited to give it to her, because... Uh, at the convention that we went to, she saw these um, mushroom style witch hats, and um, I was like, "Oh no, no, no! You can get you can get one uh, cheaper, you know, on Etsy or something." And uh, I don't think she ever bought one after that, so I'm really excited to give her this one. Um, they are super, super cute. Look, they got they're totally like. It's stiff and it stays in place like that. I love that so much. It's so cute. <laughs> and um, I also have, I'd like to bling out this Starbucks cup that I got her. Like, oh gosh, like last summer, I think I got this or, this cup for her. And I was going to bling it out with the some Star and Moon Swarovskis and maybe some Swarovskis around the logo. So I think that would be super cute to give to her because she used to work at Starbucks. And also, I am working on my set of fairy wings for the Ren Fest. And so far, I've got the top right wing, or uh, I guess it doesn't matter, left wing, I think. And I've also got... The bottom left wing cut out. I had to cut it out all by hand because I don't have a Cricut cutter. Um, and I used a X-Acto knife set that my grandpa uh, left behind. And I've also... I, I, I don't know whether or not I want to make... The center wings this is like a six piece wing set and there's like a middle wing that's like smaller than the other two so I'm not sure if I want to do those just yet because it's quite extra just to have <laughs> these top and bottoms and I think it looks pretty pretty cool just having having these two together and I'm gonna be spray painting these black and I'm going to you remember the vest I made? This one? The uh, the vinyl, the, the rainbow vinyl vest. I'm going to use sheets of vinyl that I had purchased after that, shortly after that. I was going to like finish that. <laughs> I've got so many unfinished products. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um... I can't even finish the sentence, let alone an actual jacket. I was going to make this into a, like a full jacket and everything, and it just took forever to cut out each individual piece and uh, punch holes in them and link them together and everything. And I just, I, I kind of got discouraged from continuing because I, I, I might just like, sew some fabric onto it instead or or uh i don't know i don't know how i want to finish that vest um i might finish it for the ren fest I, i'm not really sure um depending on how much time i have and time management skills um but uh yeah i'm really excited um i've got the armature wire i might need more armature wire for to, to keep it a bit stiffer because all I have is basically enough for the top of the wing. So I, I'm wondering if I should like make it go down this edge as well uh, so that it's not like pulling too much. I, I'm hoping that once I glue the pieces together uh, with the vinyl that it won't pull down too much. Um, and, and I think once I glue it on though, I, I think I'm kind of stuck with what I have. Um, well, I'm, I'm a bit confused at like what 
pieces to do when because uh, I'm doing this my own way. I, I, I don't, I'm not following the tutorial exactly because I am using vinyl sheets instead of cellophane and a Cricut machine. So, uh, I, I, yeah, it's not very conventional materials for this uh, project. Um, and when you use the cellophane and the Cricut machine, you can just use poster board, regular poster board for the Cricut, and you put the cellophane over the top of it and like use like an iron press and like kind of glue it together. So there's no, um, it covers all of the framework and everything. But what I plan on doing is tracing each individual hole in a different color on the vinyl sheets so that I can uh, fill out each spot with a different um, color to make it look like my stained glass vest that I had. So I think, I hope it'll work. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, should, I should buy some more armature wire first and then see how that goes and uh, yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> I think it'll look really cool. Um, and I don't really know what to do for the rest of my outfit yet. Um, I kind of like want to make, um, I've been wanting to make a, like, a, a wig mohawk for my hair. Um, just in general, I've been wanting to do that because I, I've been feeling very self-conscious about my male pattern baldness coming in. Um, and, uh, but I don't have like the materials to, to make it from scratch or anything like that. And I don't have the time before the Ren Fest. So I was thinking of maybe I have like a long light blue haired wig. I was thinking about like cutting that apart and then trying to make it somehow and like tease it maybe and maybe adding some flowers to it to make it more fairy like and fae like. Um, and yeah, so that could be part of my outfit. And maybe if I get that vest, <laughs> I've got so many things to do. Maybe if I get part of the vest done, I can do that, you know. Um, I've just got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot that I want to do. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't know if I want to post this today because I'm going to be seeing Ashley on Saturday. Um, but I want to put up a video. Um, but I might just do some, you know, making videos of the wings and cutting out the wings and, you know, noodling, drawing. Uh, I still have the other two, so, uh, <laughs> I'll see you and I'll probably film some of that. So I'll see you in a minute. All right. Um, yeah, I, do, I don't know if Ashley watches my videos, so that's my thing. Is if I post it, will she see her presence? Um, <laughs> I'm nervous. Uh, and I also have something else special that I bought for Maddie, which I don't want to show yet either, because we're seeing Carissa on the 7th as well. So I'm, I've got a whole bunch of things that are secret and planned, and I just <laughs> I don't know where to post them, you know? So, um, uh yeah, I'm going to go work on the rest of the framework for these two wings, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Okay, so I just finished outlining my uh, wing with the dry erase marker, and now I'm going to cut it with the shank there's teeth. Now I'm going to cut it with this bad boy. I got this right here. So I'm gonna start chopping it up. And I'm gonna start at the bottom so I'm not wiping it away. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in a little bit. 
It's a little bit hard without a cutting board underneath. But right now, I've got a cardboard box. Eh. Filled with a bathroom space saver that I never used. Yay! Okay, I'll see you later. Bye! Alright, I'm cutting out the pieces for the wing. Um, I realize I only have like 10 colors of vinyl, and I probably don't have enough to do all four, so I'm going to have to order some more, but I'm going to cut out what I can and see what I need left over. So, it's turning out really cute. Okay, so I made some mistakes along the way. Um, I thought I could do without the bottom wires to the wings, uh, but these are going to be way too heavy. And I accidentally glued the last piece on the bottom here because I need to tape around uh, both the top and bottom pieces to the wire with the electrical tape. So I made a boo-boo there. So I gotta, hopefully that'll just peel right off. But the wings actually look really cool. Um, this is, will be when you're facing me, and this will be if you're looking at my back. And of course I left the other pieces off so I could tape it. But yeah, I've got everything laid out. <laughs> it's a mess right now because it's been moved around. But, uh, yeah, I've kind of been a little down about it because I had some problems with the spray paint just peeling right off and I think I just spray painted the wrong side of the poster board which was too smooth so hopefully um, I won't have too many problems uh, of it peeling after I'm done on this side so wish me luck turning out really cute holy Christmas crackers Batman that took me like Oh, forever to tape up the edges and glue everything down, but I finally, I made it, I made it. And here's the, here's the back. Oh, how pretty. Well, definitely easier to do it with cellophane all in one go. Oh, it took forever, but hey, it looks really, really cool. It's definitely got that stained glass effect that I wanted, so I am not disappointed at all. Wow. Let's show it up to the light. Well, one down, three to go. Wish me luck. All right, this is what I've got so far. I got the bottom two wings done, taped on, all glued down. And I've got the top right wing glued so I can tape it and then glue the rest. Now I'm taping, I'm gluing, sorry, the last wing pieces on before taping the last two wings on and then it'll be ready ah took me like uh a lot of hours i didn't count <laughs> almost a full week so i'm happy with how it turned out it looks really cool i'll show you more in the end of course looks really awesome on the back side. Okay, I'll see you later.